Taurus, welcome. This is for mid-December. This is a love checkup reading. Checking in on your love life. If you have a love life, <laughs> or we would like to. Coupled, single. It's looking at everybody here. Mid-December. Taurus, I kind of feel like with this being the overall energy, this could be this reading right here. Or it could be said to be why wow, you're watching this reading right here. Like you were really looking with the, with this Ace of Swords. You were really looking. You know, we did see the Emperor, so let's count them now. Um, and you don't, you're not playing. You've been really looking, guys. But where you're at now, if this is your reading, you'll know because you can't mistake the tower. Lately, uh, the tower's been coming in um, a lot, clearing the way, I've noticed. i got to tell you, you're in this ideally, you know, should be um, freedom. You know, you end up with freedom, even though it's like often a rough way to get there. But I had the sun in a soul family read. I'll put a link. It was uh, the last one or the one before. In the same position of advice from spirit um, and I think it has the same effect here and we just note that you have three major arcana and then the ace of cups here that's your four cards so um, I believe this is a tower that has you know so they say it's a, something that has to come down doesn't serve you this kind of thing yes um, but I think what's crossing, this is a marriage card as well, um, as justice. But I think there's something going on. Uh, you felt like you couldn't get out of a relationship or a marriage or some kind of contract. Seventh house, uh, Libra, it's also about contracts. You always got to remember, marriage is... The reason marriage is in the seventh house is frankly because it's a contract. It's not like contracts are there because it's a marriage. Uh, <clears throat> all contracts are there, right? So um, there's something going on here. That's what's blocking you. Um, and so it would be the feeling like, you know, you're being defeated here, a Taurus, and you're not getting justice. It's really kind of like the same as if justice was reversed here. You'd, you know, you'd literally be saying, well, this is, fi this is fine justice. This is no justice at all. There's no justice in this. Where's the justice in this? These kind of things uh, coming out of your mouth. Even your friends might be saying that. And, you know, in a relationship reading, it's got to be about a relationship. But this is the advice from Spirit. And, you know, to get the sun, the best uh, card in the deck, it's a... It's a fantastic reassurance, I think, um, from the universe. God, uh, spirit, however you want to think of it, source, how I'd like to think of it. Now, with the outcome being the Ace of Cups, um, I think this is your person coming in, or it's someone offering you the sincere cup of love. This is the real deal, the Ace of Cups here. If I can get that to come in. Not the glare quite so bad yeah it's a beautiful ace of cups so there's someone coming in the eyes are emphasized it's probably like a first glance thing um of a soulmate type of energy from the ace of cups think the six of cups more of energy it's going to be more like that than of a gut uh, or a fire like sexual kind of attraction it's going to be more of like a feeling attraction and I got a feeling with this, God, guys, would you get back to me when, if you're with this person or you meet this person, especially in the composite, but even in synastry, if the sun itself is emphasized uh, somehow, like a, a airy sun where it's exalted, you know, or Leo where it's at home, um, in some way, the, the fifth or the first house, um, see if that's not what's going on with this person that's coming in to offer you but I think they're coming in to offer you um, a solid cup um, because that is your justice, you know. And, you know, you you might, if you say justice delayed is no justice at all, then, I mean, delayed is a human term. So it's just, it is what it is, you know. There's no time. And karma could be lifetimes, depending how things roll. 
and it, not in terms I always think with uh, karma. I don't like to think in terms of punishment. It's in ter terms of things balancing out, you know. Um, so it could be something that you sort of just um, let go, and because you're now accepting that. Probably if this tower didn't come down, basically if this relationship didn't end, in the future, near future, I think, uh, January, February, spring time, sun, definitely by airy season, here comes this amazing uh, new uh, love offer, you know. And very well could also be, if you're not interested, really so much in relationship, it's just really feeling rejuvenated and creative and fifth house and uh, wanting to pour it out there uh, and you're... Um, pour yourself in pour yourself in with your feelings into what you love it's not going to be about work it's going to be about you know art creation probably a relationship let's be real Taurus that's how it's mostly going to roll you know so it's like but I think they're going to be coming to you um, probably before that you'll just be rocking and rolling by Aries season maybe married or something so thank you guys let me know what you think of that and uh, please do comment it helps a lot please like that helps a lot. Please subscribe if you like the channel. Appreciate it, guys.